Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide. Now this is what I'm going to call the beginning of the end. If you follow Turn 10 or Playground Games stream on Monday, you'll have heard that of course this is going to be the last festival playlist with any new content and it only comes with one new car. And then after this they're just going to be recycling content, recycling cars and prizes and whatnot. Um, of course they have previously been reusing old Forzathons and they've started reusing old photo challenges as well but this is now official as Forza Horizon 5 is just around the corner so without further ado let's get stuck in to this week's Forzathon. Now this week's one is called Carte Blanche and it wants you to own and drive any off-road vehicle. So first of all, we're going to pick ourselves out an off-road. Now make sure you pick normal off-road and not extreme off-road uh, as that won't count. Now I went for my Jeep CJ5 Renegade purely because it's just a bit wacky and it rarely gets used. Um, I have got a tune for you guys to use. So the share code is 147128181 and I did say that I will be releasing a video on how to use share codes of which I will be. Now the first challenge wants you to win three cross-country circuit events. Um, not circuit but just series events even uh, so if you go to the Ambleside Rush cross country race um, you will see that I've created a race for you guys to use so when you go under solo mode obviously under custom events if you hit the back button which is search um, and then type in this share code which is 6223882275 it will come up with this race that I've created called quick and easy win which is very very short uh, and sweet and um, to do three of them will only take you about two minutes, depending on obviously loading times. Now, I normally do this for you guys for Forzathons like this, uh, where I just send the AI off and you can just stroll over to the finish line. Uh, and as you can see here, like I said, <laughs> this tune is quite mental, um, but what's life without a bit of whimsy? You know, you've got to have a bit of fun in these Forzathons because otherwise they just drag a bit. But like you can see there, all you have to do is win that race three times over and you'll have that first challenge complete nice and easy. Now, the next one wants you to earn a wrecking ball skill. Now, a wrecking ball skill is getting three wreckage skills in quick succession within the same chain uh, so it's actually easier than you think uh, but what I first of all recommend doing is getting all of these perks depending on what car you're using obviously uh, especially the extra life one because you will be smashed into a lot of things um, and you might need it and then I definitely recommend heading over to the Greendale airstrip as there is a ton of stuff to smash into whether it's fences or road signs tires poles cones you name it you can smash into it and get your wreckage skills uh, and also this will come in handy uh, for the next challenge but I'll explain that in a minute uh, so as you can see here, all I'm showing you is clips of trying to get wrecking ball skill. Now, like I said, it's just three wreckage skills in quick succession. Uh, and at this airport, because there's so much stuff to smash into, it's not too difficult to get the wrecking ball skill. Um, it's actually fairly easy. But what I recommend is just keep smashing into stuff until you get it, basically. Uh, and it will be nice and easy. Now also I recommend when you've got it to keep your chain going, do not stop and that is because this third challenge wants you to get a total of 750,000 skill score. So obviously while you keep trying to earn your wrecking ball skill, you're going to be racking up points and it will go towards your third challenge because obviously when you get the wrecking ball skill you're automatically enrolled onto the third challenge and you're halfway there basically by completing the second one so it's definitely a good time saving thing to stay at the greendale airstrip and get your wrecking ball skill there unless you're already somewhere else where the ton of stuff is um, and you sort of drive over to the airstrip for this third challenge but getting 750,000 skill score is actually fairly easy uh, and obviously this is why i said to use all your perks and skill points because it will aid you in this getting you extra points for certain things like drifting or air skills uh, now in order to get 750,000 points in one run you need to get a multiplier of five and have to get 150,000 skill points obviously then time by that multiplier uh, unless you've got a skill song on then it's even less but you do not have to get them all in one go just like last week's challenge with a million points uh, in a GT car you can do this over the course of a week or a weekend or you can just do it in sort of 20 minutes it's entirely down to yourself and you can use whichever off-road car you want like I said it doesn't really matter um, but all you have to do is just keep driving around until you get either 150,000 times 5 um, or whatever it is in the Forzathon song uh, the skill song so that's times 10 um, so 75,000 
nice and easy there uh, so I hope that this helped you guys out obviously I'm sure you're all experts by now and probably don't need me to be making these videos but if anyone needs my help that's why I'm here to try and help you out as best as I can but apart from that guys I want to say a massive thank you if you did enjoy this don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this all the best guys and take care